Eight right now, let's check out what's trending online with today's Hawaiian Telecom social scene. And with the high number of coronavirus cases, it may be a while until people go back into the office. And that's why this morning we're talking about working from home and how to avoid burnout. Now, according to Monster.com, 51% of workers said they're experiencing burnout while working from home, and 52% said they were not planning to take time off to decompress. A recent study shows people are finding themselves burning out from the stress, long hours, and lack of boundaries between work and home life. Some characteristics include increased mental distance from your job and feelings of energy depletion or exhaustion. So what can you do if you're feeling this way? Well, experts suggest taking a walk or drive. Also, try to keep your regular schedule and take breaks throughout the day. So that brings us to our question of the morning. Are you feeling work from home burnout? And if so, what do you do that helps out to refresh yourself? Leave us a comment on our KH2 Facebook page and we'll share some of those comments later this morning. So let us know what your tips are, what you do to kind of keep refreshed. Christine? Are you going to be going for like a little walk in between commercial breaks? <laughs> yes, or after. But that's exactly something that's helping is I meet with a friend or two maybe once a week. Uh, before the recent restrictions, we'd meet at the park and we just walk. And it's like, you know, kind of killing two birds with one stone. You get some physical activity in there. And you also kind of heal any kind of mental or emotional um, you know, I don't know, well-being that you need, yeah. right? You kind of reconnect with people. And I think that's what's so important is, is making sure you're taking care of your inner health as well as your outside. And I think what you mentioned loss? about social boundaries, making sure to separate work life from personal life while you're, while you're doing work. And then it's like, oh, if the kids or somebody are like bothering you, then you kind of turn to a parent and then kind of go back and forth. That can be very, very draining. Um, so yes. hopefully people can like go into a room, let the kids go into the room, do their distance learning and then come back and then like, okay, now we can have lunch. <laughs> All right, coming up next, Chris, we'll have a live look at the roads and Kelly's got your updated forecast.